In this tutorial we will discuss types of inhibitors. Let's start with cathodic inhibitors. The class of inhibitors which decrease the rate of cathodic reaction in a metal or alloy surface is called cathodic inhibitors. To understand the mechanism of the cathodic inhibitors, consider two major cathodic reactions. First one is oxygen evolution. And second one is hydrogen reduction. Both the cathodic reactions take place in several steps and the step with the slowest rate of reaction is generally the rate containing step. Consider a cathodic site where oxygen is diffusing to the metal or environment interface. If an inhibitor, like zinc and magnesium, is added to the metal or environment system, it would react with the hydroxyl ion and precipitate insoluble compounds which would, in turn, stifle the cathodic sites on the metal. In oxygen-induced corrosion, the controlling step is the mass transfer of oxygen to the metal. Similarly, consider now hydrogen evolution on the metal in acid solution. Similar to oxygen reduction, hydrogen reduction also involves several steps and out of these various steps, two steps are common. First one is adsorption of hydrogen ions. And second one is reduction of adsorbed hydrogen ion to hydrogen. The reaction is completed by desorption of the hydrogen molecule. And the open circuit potential of the cathode shifts to the potential of the anode in more negative direction. Which is illustrated in the figure clearly. The next type of inhibitors are anodic inhibitors. And anodic inhibitors are those chemical substances which inhibit the anodic reaction. Let's consider an anodic dissolution reaction of iron metal as, shown here. And during the dissolution of iron metal in aqueous environment, the phenomena of adsorption and disruption of species is very predominant. How corrosion slows down would depend on the electron transfer rate limiting step and the environment can be represent in a stepwise manner. We can see here, this in the equations. Corrosion could increase or decrease depending on the environmental constituents. For example, halogen ions, benzoate, and other ions. If the reaction between iron and hydroxide is suppressed by environmental constituents, corrosion is decreased and if the reaction is promoted, corrosion is accelerated. The addition of anodic inhibitors reduces the difference of potential between the anodic and cathodic sites and consequently reduces the driving force for corrosion reaction to occur. The potential of anodic shifts to the potential of the cathode. The number of metal ions dissolving as a result of anodic reaction is reduced and the potential shifts in a more noble direction. And another type of inhibitors are mixed inhibitors. Mixed inhibitors are those substances which inhibit both the anodic and cathodic reaction simultaneously as explained with the help of Evans diagram. Here, in the figure we can see the corrosion behavior with and without inhibitors. Thanks for watching, bye bye, see you.